Hey everybody, uh, I have a Keurig that has uh, decided to stop working and uh, like you I'm sure, I went on YouTube and uh, looked for fixes. Uh, the first fix was uh, targeting the uh, water container here. Uh, there's people that suggest using a turkey baster to push water through the uh, pickup at the bottom uh, down there and uh, that didn't work. And then there were some other suggestions, but um, thanks to uh, YouTube user Apache Ranch, I just wanted to expand on uh, Apache Ranch's YouTube video a little bit. Apache Ranch suggested uh, that the issue might be up in here. And one other YouTube uh, user um, suggested that you take a paper clip and go up through the nozzles um, underneath here and, and basically unplug the holes. And you can see the holes there. I tried that with a paper clip. That didn't work. So I did stumble upon Apache Ranch's uh, video, which tells you how to remove this cover. It's very easy. And there are two screws. You can see the two screw holes up there. I removed the screws. And then following his instructions, you basically just pull forward and up and this thing comes off so that uh, then gives you the full mechanism inside and what he suggested is basically just wiggling this check valve around and loosening some scale that might be in there and um, believe it or not that didn't work so I just wanted to kind of Add to his expertise in his video and just show you that you just remove these two screws here. Very carefully, do not lose these. Of course, now I'm filming and using a screwdriver and I'm probably gonna lose a screw, but put it somewhere where you won't lose it. I think this one's already loose, yep. Now, I would suggest you do this with the power off just because there is a uh, contact in here. And so I've already fixed mine, but I'll take go ahead and turn the power off. Now, what that does is that allows you to separate this. Now, this clamp right here is actually very tight, and that's what essentially clamps this rubber tube onto this check valve. So if you slide this back, which I'm not sure I can do with one hand, but here we go, I'm gonna give it a try. There we go. If you slide it back, that just allows you to pop this tube off. See that there you go and in so doing you can lift this up and this comes will come completely out all you do is you just then remove these two screws the whole nozzle comes out of the assembly and all I did is I rinsed it really well in water and I blew through here and just all I did was I clean up the nozzle so for me the problem was a plug nozzle and it was just too much for the paperclip trip trick to really work. So remove these two screws. The nozzle, this whole piece comes out from the bottom. The tube, you just kind of fish through that hole right there. And you can just take it to a sink. Rinse it really thoroughly. Rinse the uh, nozzles out real thoroughly. Kind of gross, but don't tell anybody. Blow through this nozzle and you'll be able to get when you can get uh, no resistance to the air, you know you've cleared the nozzle. And then just reinstall. Uh, when, and when you reinstall it, obviously you wanna connect those two together, then slide this clamp up, which essentially clamps that connection. Resecure your screws, and then um, you know plug it in, be super careful. Uh, do this at your own risk, because there is an electrical connection here. And what that is, is that's just a micro switch that tells the machine that the lid is closed. But there's power through there, so 
If you're not sure, put the cover on first, but I'm not telling you to do something stupid. You know your own uh, abilities, but just be super careful. But uh, anyway, what I did is I was just careful and I uh, filled up the water container and sure enough, water started running through it. I went ahead and descaled with some vinegar. I ran uh, quite a bit of vinegar through it and then I ran a couple uh, containers full of water through it and uh, it works like a champ. In fact, the flow, uh, I hadn't really noticed, but the flow was very restricted and it was obviously just due to scale and, and crud in the lines. So doing this allows you to flush it all out. Uh, one thing that I did before I reconnected it is I ran it and ran the water through here to make sure that this check valve was good. And sure enough, the water was running through it and right into this container. Keeping in mind, of course, that water is very hot. So do that at your own risk. Uh, but I made sure that before I reconnected everything, that the water was in fact making its way through the check valve, which it was. So that's what told me that uh, water was running through here. So obviously the problem is in here. I removed two screws, I pulled it out, blew through it, rinsed it really carefully, and then reconnected it and the uh, Keurig was fixed. So I hope that helps you. Again, uh, don't do anything that you're not fully capable of doing, but be very careful and um, make sure and give this video a like. And again, thanks to Apache Ranch for uh, sending me right down the, the right path there. Thanks for watching.